is like the middle temperature room. Oh, the is other it? one is pretty good and fresh, and there's one that's just like. <laughs> this was really hot earlier, and now yeah. it's kind of. Oh, it's, it's a little better, I guess. Is there a fan on? Yeah, we've got this one. Oh. <laughs> so you can get a little a wind <laughs> wave in your hair. So this guy you're playing comes off as like a real douchebag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How did you ever reach out to him, or did you ever talk to him? No, I've not I've had any contact with him at all. Um, I just kind of tried to find out as much as I could about him from, from word of mouth and talking to people. But how is it for you to play someone that's... Do, do you enjoy that more? Playing someone that's kind of... It's been enjoyable playing someone that's more bad, but what's quite interesting is bad guys, you know, if you can call them that in this, they never really know they are the bad guy. You know, they, they think they're the good guy. You know, but, you know, they don't really think they're villains. So, but it has been... It's been fun to not always be the good guy. This has been a nice change for me. And I think as an actor, what I feel like a lot of actors say, you have to understand the way your character, you know, behaves and, the, and understand the motivation. Yeah. Do you, it's kind of hard to understand this guy, or was it hard It for is you? and it isn't. You know, there's scenes where you can see him being not nice to Elton, but if you look at the situation, Elton's not been nice to him for a while. You know, he's been... You know, wasted for two weeks or something while John's been running the business. So that's the that's the kind of motivation I come in as. You know, you can do bad things because he feels justified to do them. So it's a lot of darkness in this movie as well as you know, happy and glamorous and colourful. Have you? Do you think that to be a good artist that you have to have some darkness in you? Um, I don't think so. I don't. I don't think that's a, a necessary thing. I think, you know, there's a running theme of of a lot of great artists have suffered some sort of trauma in their life, but I don't think you need to be living in suffering to be a good artist, and I don't think you need to have had suffered to, to be a good artist, I think. Um, I think it's about creativity rather than suffering. But a lot of actors have the same thing, that they use that kind of suffering from their lives. Do, yes. you, do you do that? No, I'm very kind of... Uh, I really don't enjoy actors using acting as therapy. You know, I don't think that's a useful tool. I think that can be indulgent, and that's not, that's not what I do. But of course, we pull on things in our lives um, that have happened to us uh, in order to be able to relate to someone a bit better. You know, I've played Romeo before, and you know, I've I've not lost my my wife to suicide. So, uh, you know, I, I can't pull on something from my life. You have to work out different parallels to to kind of um, build a character. So I think you said recently that you don't wish fame upon anyone. Mm. Can you explain what you mean by that? Um, I don't know if I did say that, but I, may, I might have done. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think um, there's a kind of culture now that's about um, fame and celebrity and, and especially young people um, coveting it. And, uh, and that's not... It shouldn't be about that, really. It should be about you being good at your job and, um, and not about being famous on Instagram. That's true. Right. <laughs> but you must have noticed a big difference now that people know you more from, from Bodyguard yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy that people recognize you or do you wish that? No, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy people recognize me. I think it's, it's, very, it's very lovely that, um, that people recognize me because they've watched my, my shows. That's, that's what's good about it, is that people have, have watched the shows, which is the whole purpose of making them, is to kind of share these things in the entertainment. But, um, but no, I don't, I don't crave that in any way. What about selfies and stuff? Everyone wants selfies today. Yeah, well, they do a bunch of selfies, yeah. Sure, I don't mind. <laughs> so being here in Cannes, being at the red carpet, have you been here before? Uh, only once, many years ago. Um, I came with my father, uh, and it wasn't the festival. I, kinda, I remember walking past the steps and going, oh, that's where the film festival happens. So quite surreal being here and being on the steps. How was it to walk the red carpet? Terrifying. <laughs> it's terrifying. There's so many photographers and everyone's shouting and... You're there with Elton and the whole cast. It's a, it's a daunting experience. And to watch the movie with Elton sitting there, yeah. what was that like? That was really special. That was really special just because I, I'm so proud of Dexter and Taron and the amount of effort and work they've put in. And to know that it's resonated so well with Elton and he's so thrilled and happy with the film, it was a really special moment. And you got to sing and, and dance. I, <laughs> I got to do a bit of singing and dancing, and then after the premiere I got to watch Elton singing on the beach with Taron, which is a special thing, was, right? Wasn't that, that amazing? That was amazing. That amazing. was like, pinch you in the arm moment. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Great talking to you. No, you